Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is being delivered in VMware Cloud Foundation in short form VCF 5.0. 5.0 is the latest version. VMware released recently a few months ago. And here are the common icons we use for VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation. As we're aware, VCF is a combination of VMware STDC stack, STDC means Software Defined Data Center, which includes VSPA, Virtual SAN, NSX, and also ARIA suit, or we call it as formally VRelate suit, okay? And VCF, we can also sometimes use this icon. Reason is VCF, it supports for perpetual licensing as well as cloud edition. Generally for on-premises, we may use this, this logo and for the cloud editions we may use this logo but anything there is no specification you can use based on our flexibility and customer's choice okay now before jumping into the what is being delivered as part of vcf first let's quickly recap vcf overview so as we are aware vcf is a combination of stdc stack it includes stdc manager and mainly server virtualization product ESXi. And to manage ESXi, we have vCenter server and for storage virtualization NSX, uh, sorry, virtual SAN and for network virtualization NSX. And within a vCenter, we have a feature called workload management. Using workload management, we can configure supervisor cluster and Tanju Kubernetes cluster. That means we spear with Tanju. Okay, and we relate suit. So we relate suit, we also call it as ARIA suit. This generally ARIA suit consists of additional component which includes ARIA operations, ARIA automation, the formally we realize automation, and ARIA operations for logs and ARIA operations for network. Formally, we call it as we realize network insight. Okay, and when we configure Tanju on VCF environment, this Tanju on VCF will also help to configure your workload workload clusters. Those workload clusters, we call it as TKG. TKG means Tanju Kubernetes clusters. And when we have NSX environment, we can also configure vSphere pod. Okay, that is native vSphere pod. Pod means it contains either one, one container or more than one containers. Okay, multiple containers, we call it as a pod. And normally we have within our VMware VCF environment, we have traditional virtual machines. So all the TKC, pod and VMs, we can run concurrently on this VCF platform. Okay. And VCF provides a wide ranging hybrid cloud platform. Why we are saying hybrid cloud platform is we are not only, as I mentioned, we have a two types of licenses, perpetual and cloud edition. So perpetual means generally we may use in within our data center and edge locations. When it comes to hyperscaler, that is nothing but a cloud edition. So bringing the cloud cloud model in VCF as well. And the cloud model means either we can use a private cloud or we can use a hybrid cloud. Okay. And that's the reason I mentioned VCF provides a wide ranging hybrid cloud platform for both traditional enterprise and modern applications. And based on proven comprehensive software defined stack, that means STDC, including vSphere, vSAN NSX, vSphere with Tanju, ARIA suit, and VCF provides a complete set of software defined services for compute, storage, and network. Okay, and also container as well as cloud management. All these features, it is included in VCF, okay? And VCF, as we are aware, VCF have a two types of architecture. One architecture, we call it as a consolidated architecture. So consolidated architecture means within a one rack, we have a ESXi host. So minimally to configure consolidation architecture, we can use minimally four ESXi hosts. And this consolidation architecture generally recommended for a small customer infrastructure size environments. So if the customer infrastructure size is small, we recommend a consolidated VCF architecture. And within the consolidated architecture, remember minimum we should start with the four physical 
physically a success host and then we can configure a management domain and management resource pool workload resource pool because we are not configuring a separate uh, v center we are configuring within a v center we can configure two different resource pools and one resource pool dedicated for management infra vms and workload means that is all related to the our customer enterprise applications and nsx edge resource pool this will cover a shared resource pool. some scenarios we may dedicate edge resource pool only for the workload resource pool as well okay on top within to communicate all over esxi host and virtual machine we need a top of the rack switches okay and when it comes to the another architecture we call it as a standard architecture if the customer infrastructure is a medium size environment or large size environment we would recommend this standard architecture but if you compare the consolidated and standard architecture only difference is the infrastructure size is huge here we could start with your four nodes but here we need a more than four nodes that means for management we need minimally four node and for the workload domain also we should start with minimally three nodes okay when you start with the three nodes and uh, generally if you are using vsan recommended start with the three nodes in workload domain if you are using a block storage for fc san and iscsi san that scenario even workload domain you should also start with your two nodes as well okay but general recommendation is both management domain workload domain best to start with a four nodes four nodes minimally six eight nodes okay and some cases if there is any budget constraints we are okay to start with six nodes as well or seven recommendation is eight nodes okay and if you see in this diagram we have same like consolidation we have a top of the rig uh, switches for all the racks and we have a rack one two and so on until the rack eight that means we have a facility to expand as needed up to vSphere configuration maximums and we even we can increase our ESX host count storage and storage we are anyhow using each ESX host comes with a multiple SSD or NVMe drive latest drives using NVMe we can configure virtual SAN and uh, to manage multiple ESX we need a two vCenters minimally one vCenter for management domain another vCenter for VA workload domain when we have vCenter we can also configure a automatically it will comes with a workload management feature that is called Tanju on VCF and we can also use ARIA suit products okay and this uh, infrastructure size is big so we also increasing the server count and rack count and to communicate all this rack infrastructure we need a data center fabric that means we need a inter rack switches to communicate between all the infrastructure items okay hope you understand the overview of VMware Cloud Foundation latest version 5.0 now let's talk about our key concept is what is being delivered in vmware cloud foundation 5.0 so 5.0 it delivers vcf solution components we can also call it as software bill of materials in short form sw bomb so vcf comes with this all software bomb whatever we noticed in our architecture the same architecture components it delivered with vcf so these architecture components are stdc manager 5.0 latest version and it will also use a cloud builder 5.0 and vspr 8.0 update one that means vspr means it covers with esxi 8.0 vcenter server and also one of the vcenter workload management feature we call it as tanju that means tanju can be run directly on vcf and storage virtualization product vsan 8.0 update one and we also have another one vsan witness node okay and nsx 4.1 latest version and also aria suit lifecycle manager and vrelay suit lifecycle manager 8.10 patch one when we say aria aria suit comes with vcf means it will also cover aria operations aria automation formally we call it as vrelays automation aria operations means vrelays operations manager for mainly for monitoring reporting and capacity planning and aria automation mainly in order to automate day zero day one and day two activities and mainly for aria operations for logs that is formally called it as vrelays log inside to centrally manage the logs for all the vmware products which includes vsphere vsan nsx tanju and uh, and so on and similarly another last but not the least we realize suit it consists of another component that is called aria operations for networks formally we call it as vrelays network insight okay 
So these all the major components comes with a VCF. And VCF, not only hybrid cloud, this software building blocks can also use it to make a private cloud solution as well. Okay, so the same private cloud solution when you plan to integrate with a public cloud, any AWS, Azure, Azure and Google Cloud, we call that as a, when we are integrated on-premises to public cloud and private cloud, we call it as it's a hybrid cloud environment solution. Okay, so hope you understand the VCF overview and also what is the solution components or software bomb available with VCF 5.0. Let's say you may have a question, then if the customers are using a previous version, four series version, how they can plan to upgrade to 5.0. But 5.0 VMware already enhanced the upgrade features. They are allowing to in place upgrade from VCF old version to another version. Let me show you in the following slide. See, this slide talks about uh, VCF supports an in-place upgrade from VCF 4.3 onwards to even if you have 4.4, 4.5 version, all the versions support from 4.3 onwards, it support to upgrade to 5.0 with in-place upgrade on existing infrastructure. If you see this diagram, before upgrade, we have STDC component, that means software defined data center component, which includes STDC manager, ARIA suit. Suit means, remember, it combination of multiple products like uh, ARIA operation, automation, ARIA operation for logs, ARIA operation for network insight, and also another component is identity management and works or in other words, we call it as workspace one access. Okay. All these components within the four series and the V1, vSphere and vCenter in seven series, when, when we initiate in-place upgrade, this SDDC manager workflows will run within our SDDC infrastructure and it will upgrade it to latest version. That means SDDC manager upgrade to 5.0, ARIA suit upgrade to 8.10, and NSX manager upgrade to latest version 4.1, vCenter and ESX also upgraded to 8.0 update 1A. A is the like thing but a latest patch. Okay, so this is how we can plan for a individual upgrades. And even during the individual upgrades, there are some scenarios. Some customers, when we plan to upgrade from 4.3 to 5, some organization, they have a internet access. So that means there will be no issues when we planning to do a in-place upgrade. But some scenario, the customers are using a, like uh, some organization, they are using a dark site environment. Dark site means generally they do not have a direct internet access. So that scenario, uh, we VMware is providing a one product that is called bundle transfer utility. Using VCF bundle transfer utility, when we don't have a internet access or a dark site, we can use that method to upgrade from old version 4.3 to latest version 5.0. Okay. And in other words, even before conclude, we understand that VCF provides the simplest path to hybrid cloud platform through an integrated software platform okay and even we understand another key point is in order to build the vcf minimally we need a four servers that is called consolidation architecture and for a medium and large environment we can maintain a minimally six or eight nodes okay and vcf if you want to run it in our hardware infrastructure it will support for your rack mount servers or vcf support for your hpe synergy as composable infrastructure systems it is already officially hpe synergy are officially certified by vmware and you can use synergy com, 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 synergy means we call it as a composable synergy frames or we call it as a better blade servers using the better blade servers we can on the on top of the better blade server or synergy frame using multiple compute node, you can run a VMware VCF using a cloud builder software. Okay, so as a result, using VCF is a reliable, efficient cloud infrastructure that offers consistent operations across private and also the public infrastructure. Okay, so hope you understand the complete concept and what all the products are included within your latest version VCF. 5.0. When compared to previous 4.0 series, the versions are upgraded to the latest version. And in addition, they also did the enhancements to the all the products and also the upgrade features. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.